welcome back to my channel this is going to be my how to deal with stress guide so hopefully you guys like this type of video um i asked you guys what type of videos you would like to see and i got a couple people that said they want to know how am i able to deal with stress so here it is um it was a point in my life i was dealing with a lot of stress i was stressed about everything and i actually got sick from being so stressed um everything that i would eat i would just throw it up um i would have the worst headaches i actually would cry myself to sleep and it would be some days that my whole body would just hurt so bad and it was because i was stressed now first before you can say that you're stressed you need to find out if you're really stressed and what you're stressed about me i was stressed about um family situations financial difficulties school work and my weight and i had to realize what can i do to stop being stressed i know you can always say you want to stop being stressed but are you going to stop being stressed is the actual um question and what can you do to stop being stressed so me i started venting more um i used to be the type of person that tried to keep everything in and you can't do that you have to be able to talk to someone and I turned to my mom and my boyfriend and I was able to talk to them and vent to them about things that I usually would hold in. And believe it or not, they gave me a lot of positive feedback. So I would just say if you have somebody to talk to, try to talk to them and make sure that they're able to give you some positive feedback. Um, something else that helped me when I was stressing was self-talking. Um, again, I told you guys I was stressing over my weight. And at the time, I had a lot of people telling me that I was fat, I was overweight, um, you're going to wear that, you're going to wear this, it doesn't look right. But I had to start telling myself, like, no matter if you are overweight, you still look amazing. You can't worry about what other people are going to say about you, are going to feel about you. You have to start telling yourself, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, and be confident. Like, don't let nobody else tell you how you should be be yourself and that's what i started doing i would um change clothes in the mirror and just tell myself like girl you got it going on or i would wash my face and just stare in the mirror and just say you're amazing or if i'm in the car i'll pull down that mirror real quick and just say you got it going on and just self-talk Tell yourself what you would want other people to see you as. You don't have to hear from other people. You can hear it from yourself. But that's what helped me a lot um, when I was stressing about my weight. Um, prioritizing. Again, I told you guys I was stressed about school. And I was stressed more because I would wait until the last minute to get everything in and done. And I had to learn how to, I had to, learn how to prioritize myself. Um... Now, I will actually have a planner and I'll write down everything that I have to do. Back then, I used to just try to remember it and then I'll forget and then I'll hurry up and try to get it done. Now, I'm actually prioritizing myself. Um, I'll write it down in a book or in the calendar and I'll start working on it as soon as I get it. I don't try to wait until the last minute anymore because that's what put a lot of stress on me from school, trying to get everything done at the last minute. Um... Developing a sense of humor. I'm the type of person, or I was the type of person. I'm not the type of person no more. I was the type of person. I always thought about the what ifs. And I couldn't think so much about, I, I can't think about what if anymore. I have to just accept it as right now. I can't say, well, it's supposed to go like this, but what if this happens? It's supposed to go like this, what if that happens? Because that's more of bringing negative to the situation. So that's why I said develop a sense of humor. Laugh about what's going on and just move on with the situation. Stop worrying about things that you cannot change. Just worry about what you have now and go with the flow. Um, something else that helped me was being able to be more relaxed, being more happy, um, doing things that you actually like to do, keeping your mind off of the things that are actually stressing you out. Um, 
I know me, I love to do makeup, hair, and know more about fashion. So whenever I find myself being more stressed out and or thinking about things that is going to get me stressed, I usually open up an app on my phone and I'll look through there or I'll go shopping and or I'll play in makeup. I'm just doing things to keep me moving and keep me more relaxed. Um, I like listening to music, so I'll put music in and just keeping me more relaxed and happy. Those are some things that can keep you from being stressed also. Um, I'm trying to see. Um, another thing that can keep you from being stressed is actually exercising like I do not do a lot of exercising but when I do exercise it's like it's taking a lot of like it's like it's giving me energy it's like it's making me feel better so I would actually say exercising can help with being stressed um even if it's nothing but five ten minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes throughout your day just doing some type of exercise will actually help with stress also um I'm trying to see um Um, stress is something that can kill you guys. So I hope that if you are stressed, that you do try to get some help. And I hope that these tips actually do help you. Um, if I do come up with some more tips, I would definitely, definitely make another video. So it will be a second part. And if you guys have any helpful, helpful tips that can help with dealing with stress, I would definitely love it if you guys could leave it in the comment section below. And again, I hope you guys like this video and remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.